Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to see you again. Um, today we are going to complete our talk about uh, foreign language one. Uh, we are going to complete talking about commercial uh, English. Uh, let's begin uh, our talk today with a revision about what we have uh, said before. Uh, last time we have talked uh, the abbreviations or uh, acronym uh, related with commercial uh, English. Uh, and I asked you to uh, search online about some of them. Let's uh, begin. APC. This is an abbreviation of always be closing. Always be closing. Approx. Approx. This means approximately. ASP. ASAP. As soon as possible. Atten. Atten. This is an abbreviation for attention, and I use it in, to indicate who is a letter for. For example, attend recats. Uh, P to P. P to P. This is business to business. P to C. P to C. This is business to consumer. PID. PID. Break it down. Break it down. C backslash O. Care of. CC, this is a carbon copy. It means to duplicate a copy that has been sent to another person or another one. CF, this is a compare. And finally, we have CO dot. And this is an abbreviation of company as John Smith's company. Uh, last uh, time also we have talked about how to write an application letter or a letter for a, a job and I asked you to do one. Uh, there uh, were two examples of write, writing a letter. This is the first type or a first example or a first form uh, in front of you and we have talked about it last uh, meeting, a letter from an applicant uh, to a company, dear manager, of there and I write down the name of the company. I would like to apply for a job in your company. For your information, allow me to provide uh, you with my qualifications. And this is now my name, my age, and I have a work experience. You can write whatever you have as a work experience. Maybe not a work. You are trained on something. You are you have an excellence in something. You are qualified with your skills in other things, whatever. I know well the following um, uh, languages and you write down the languages you are uh, experienced uh, in. I'm ready to any uh, time to take over any work suitable for you and confirming uh, you with my qualifications mentioned here. I hope you will notify me by telephone on number and I write down my telephone number 0021, whatever the number in case you wish to employ me. Until then, I wish you the best. Sincerely, and you write down your name. This is a form or um, a type for uh, an applicant program, a uh, message or re um, reply. Another one in front of you, you just make an introduction and then give down your names. And we have discussed it before uh, in the last meeting. Mr. Chief President of the company agreed appreciation and honest greeting than the owner would be mine if you would accept me as one of three company soldiers hoping to win the owner to work in your shadow apply from and you write down your name here graduated from you write down what you study applied for you write the job you hope to work in telephone number this is the telly you are going to communicate with and my great thanks and appreciation for you by this we have finished our revision let's get started okay we are going to speak about some terms related with the economy Let's read economy, 
الاقتصاد economic اقتصادي global economy اقتصاد عالمي economics علم الاقتصاد economist عالم اقتصاد economize يقتصد او يوفر economic wealth ثروة اقتصادية economic welfare رفاهية اقتصادية economic system نظام اقتصادي economic studies دراسات اقتصادية economic stability استقرار اقتصادي economic services this is خدمات اقتصادية economic sanctions this is عقوبات اقتصادية Economic revolution, this is Saura Ixodi. Economic resources, Mawarid Ixodi. Economic recovery, Intaish Ixodi. Economic prosperity, Raha Ixodi. Economic nature, Tabia Ixodi. Economic goods, Sela Ixodi. Economic sport hedge, Tahrib Ixodi. Economic streak. اقتصادي economic maturity نضج اقتصادي economic penetration this is توغل our topic day which we are going to concentrate on the skills of speaking will be uh, firstly a revise about business planning and we have talked them previously these words and right now I am going to ask you to complete these words in the plan forms later. Let's read the words and then we are going to answer the black uh, or the uh, words later. Goal, lead time, to extend, to devise operational scheme, long range tool, to propose task, meaningless, deadline, revise, task, to achieve. Here we are going to have some sentences and we will put the word in its place. We read and then put the word. Let's begin. Firstly, we are going to read the first uh, sentence. The conference registration space has passed the last day to register was yesterday. This means that I will use the word Did line. This means that I will use the word did line. Did line. The second one is this computer space question mark is making a durable noise. Here we are going to use the word operational. Operational. If I have proper to prepare, I'm sure I can produce throughout the presentation. Here I use a lit time, a lit time. Number four, with the right space, I can design a high quality professional brochure. I can use the word tool. I can use the word tool. Number five, the space for establishing a team building program for employees was submitted to the board for review and approval. We are going to use proposal, the word proposal. Okay, number six. We need to be prepared for the future to develop a space business plan. 
a long range, a long range. Number seven, you can taste anything if you put your mind to it. Number seven, accomplish. You can accomplish or achieve. To accomplish or to achieve. And this space provides a plan for, uh, for how we will cut expenses and increase revenues in the next five years. This is number eight. Scheme. 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 Number nine. Policies need to be reviewed and based every couple of years to reflect changes in the company. Number nine, revise, revise. Here is the word, revise. Your space is to develop a timeline for the project, which will then discuss. Number 10. Task, your task, your task. Number 11. He spaced a great deal of success with the company and was promoted to vice president. He achieved, he achieved. Okay, number 12. Since there was no way we would finish the project on time, we had to get the deadline. The deadline what? Extended. The deadline extended. To extend here, I use the word extended. Number 13, we must base. Devise a message for handling inquiries in more efficient manner. Here I'm going to use huh? device, the word device. Number 14. And space conversation is one of that is lacking in sensority and suspicion. This I will use a meaningless, a meaningless. And finally, a successful business plan starts with laying out the space where you wish to accomplish, the goals you wish, the answers, answers of the uh, filling spaces will be deadline number one, two, operational, three, lead time, four, um, tools, five, proposal, uh, six long range, seven accomplish, eight scheme, uh, nine revise, uh, ten task, eleven achieve, uh, twelve extended, uh, thirteen device, fourteen meaningless, and fifteen is goals. Today, we are going to begin with a marketing idea. Here, Let's have the meaning of some terms used in marketing as an area of the commercial studies. Words used in marketing is universally in every in essence or ever, vital, essential, or very important to concentrate. This is to focus. Analyze the process of studying the nature of something to determine its features. Strategy, this is a plan. To aim at, directing at. Target, this is an objective or goal. To appeal, to attract or interest. Segments, this is sections or bars of. Again, universally, or movement of Gamil Amekin, vital daruri ab hayawi concentrate on yurakkiz ala analysis drasa aw tahlil strategy strategia to aim at yahdif ila target hadaf 
تو ابيل يجذب انتباه سيجمانس اجزاء او اقسام تو بروموت يرقي او يدعم او ينمي تو ريسبونسيف طريقه الاستجابه كمرشال اعلان تجاري كامبين حمله مخططه اي فورس جهود او محاولات بوزيشن ذيس از يعد او مركز او حال جس How to make a conversation in this topic? In front of you, there is a conversation about marketing. It has two roles. I will read the content and try to play it with your colleague or your friend or whatever you want. Again, in front of you, there is a conversation as an example talking about marketing. I will read the content, but your role is to play one of these roles with your colleague or your friend to practice English and develop your skill. Marketing is more than just selling or promoting a product. It's really understanding the consumers, isn't what? Right, you have to make sure the consumers get what they want even before they know they need it. A good market strategy is vital to the producer success. Okay, this is conversation number one. المحادثة الأولى بتدور حوالين شخصين نادية وصارة بيتكلموا عن التسويق. فنادية بتقول إنه التسويق تجاوز مجرد بيع أو تحسين منتج. صارة قالت لها فعلا هو فاهم المستقبل مش نادية قالت أيوة فعلا لازم نتأكد إن المستهلك عايز الحاجة اللي هو بي يعني هيشتريها دي من قبل ما يقرر إن هو يشتريها فهنا دي استراتيجية عشان ينشط conversation too I don't think we have probably positioned this product I agree we are aiming for two wide and ideas our target is much narrower let's look at the previous population segments and see which were the most representative to our campaign. المحادثة الثانية دارت حوالين ما بين تامر وحازم انه في البداية تامر قال انا بتهيألي ما يعني ما جهزناش للمنتج ده بالشكل الصحيح يعني كان ما ينبغي. حازم قال له انا موافق على كلامك لان احنا وسعنا حملة التسويق بتاعته أكتر من اللازم. كان المفروض هدفنا انه التسويق يكون على نحو أضيق من كده. فقال له خلينا نشوف القطاعات المتعددة اللي موجودة للسكان ونشوف ايه اللي هيتجاوب منها مع حملة الدعاية. To develop your listening skill, I will help you to listen to something is very good. It will increase your talent. It's oral by native speakers uh, I will uh, let you uh, to listen to it then uh, I uh, I will prepare to do uh, your skills uh, let's concentrate on uh, you are going to listen because it's by native speaker and uh, when managed I will and demonstrate what does it You're listening to Business English Pod. The Business English Pod. Business English Pod. Hello, and welcome back to Business English Pod. For today's lesson on English collocations for discussing online marketing. The world of e-commerce is extremely competitive. 
millions and millions of people are shopping online every day, viewing millions of options. How can businesses stand out in the sea of competition? How can they ensure their potential customers can even find their website? They turn to online marketing. So it's no wonder there's so much time, energy, and money put into marketing and measuring performance. If you've ever had a discussion with an online marketing expert, you'll know there's a whole new language built up around it. Think about an expression like search engine optimization or SEO. That's a good example of a type of expression that we call a collocation. A collocation is just a group of words that go naturally together to form an expression. You've already heard me use a few collocations. Consider measuring performance as an example. The verb measure and the noun performance go together frequently and naturally. By looking at collocations, you can learn words together, not in isolation. In today's dialogue, we'll rejoin Eduardo, Emma, and Neil, who work for a kitchenware retailer. Last time, they discussed content marketing. Today, we'll hear them talking about search engine optimization and some ways of measuring success. During their conversation, they use many English collocations, which we'll explain later in the debrief. As you listen to the dialogue, try to answer the following questions. One, at the start of the conversation, what does Eduardo hope has increased? Two, according to Emma, what have they invested a lot in? Three, what does Neil say about their English site that might not be true about the German version? All right there. I think we've covered the immediate stuff for content marketing. So I'd like to dive into SEO. Everyone with me? Good. Okay. So Google's big update. It's been a month. So I got to ask, did this boost our search ranking or did we take another hit? Well, yeah, we've got some decent stats now. And I'd have to say it's a bit of both. Okay. Curious to hear what that means. So here in the US, we're now ranking higher for multiple keywords, ones that we've traditionally targeted. And the dashboard is showing a bit higher average revenue per user, which is good. Yeah, that's great to see for sure. But there's a but, yeah? The but is about everywhere outside the US, especially Europe. I thought we were doing a good job of generating buzz there. I mean, God knows, we sure have invested a lot in promoting our brand. No doubt. But when you look at Spain, Germany, and France, and in a broader context, China, our search ranking has dropped. Let me guess, we're having issues with page speed again. That's definitely part of it, especially for China. But I think there's some lingering issues too with how we built links early on in the game. And it's also wrapped up in some language issues. We use automatic translation, right? Yes, we do. And while we think we have a strong call to action in English, I'm not so sure we do in German, for example. And that's making it hard to optimize our conversion rate. Well, that's something we're going to have to figure out especially as that's where we have the most room to grow in terms of customer lifetime value. I think it'll take some more digging. The dashboard alone won't really tell us what we need to do. I mean, it tells us that we've managed to increase our click-through rate on mobile, but it doesn't tell us why that's not translating into sales.
again um, we are uh, talking about marketing but uh, this time i tried to help you to talk like native speakers uh, because of that i uh, searched for a business english board and i found uh, a nice conversation between three persons they are native speakers talking about marketing and i help you to listen about this conversation and to imagine what they are talking about in the beginning they uh, give you some questions uh, uh, for uh, what they are talking uh, and then and then they uh, present you uh, the topic at the beginning uh, they uh, at the beginning they talk about marketing as an idea uh, and uh, what is the wallet of the e-commerce extremely uh, this is a competitive uh, uh, market uh, then they talk about how to make shopping online every day and giving million of uh, people or consumers this competition also you could uh, put in your uh, mind when you are uh, uh, putting a plan to make an online marketing. Then uh, they discuss how to make the online marketing and how to be an expert in this field. And finally, they ask you some things, some things uh, related with the conversation, some question related to the conversation which we are which we have listened about. Uh, at the start of the conversation, what they uh, hope, uh, according to someone of the conversation, what they invest, and what does Nile say about the English side. Uh, by uh, this, uh, I will uh, finish today uh, lecture, and I uh, hope uh, you uh, uh, find it uh, well. Um, يا يعني انا في المحادثه اللي فاتت حاولنا ان احنا نسمع متحدثين يعني اساسيين للغه على اساس ان احنا ننمي من مهاره الاستماع وزي ما ذكرت لحضراتكم ان المحادثه كانت دايره حوالين ازاي اعمل تسويق اونلاين وازاي اتكلم عن منتج معين وازاي اتعامل معاه وازاي اطرح المنتج كخبير للتسويق داخل سوق فاتمنى انه يعني الكونتنت المقدم لحضراتكم تعملوا عليه براكتس ممارسه اكثر من مره وتدرب نفسك وتحسن من قراءتك للادوار اللي موجوده العب دور لحاجه فيهم وان شاء الله يعني مع التكرار الامور تتحسن. جود لك فور يو دو يور بيست سي يو نيكست ميتنج ان شاء الله جود باي.